Hey there, Seb by The Realtor here, and I've got a really serious question for you. Do you want to sell your house for $1 million over list price or more? If you want to sell your house for a million bucks over asking price, then you definitely, absolutely are going to want to watch this video. So do you remember how like last year in 2022 and in 2021 and like in 2020, we were seeing lots of headlines about how homes in the Bay Area were selling for $1 million or more over asking price? Uh, well, actually it's true and actually it was a fairly common occurrence. And if you don't believe me, if you're thinking that this is some kind of fake news that maybe I saw in a supermarket line on the front page of the Inquirer along with UFO photos, no, 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 that's not it. This is actually true. Let's take a look at some of these headlines right now. Here we go. This is a uh, Bay Area home that sold in Mountain View uh, for a uh, million dollars over list price. Uh, actually, so it was 21.8%. This was reported by KRON TV4. This was a home in Mountain View. And now we have this home in Berkeley here. This one in Berkeley sold for uh one million dollars over asking price as well this was reported on sf gate i.e the san francisco chronicle that one sold for 31.3 percent over list price and uh, also on sf gate we have uh, this story about a mid-century modern in beautiful el cerrito california it sold for more than one million dollars over uh list price and that was 47.1 over list price, by the way. And then we have another one here. This one is in San Francisco, where a home sold for 40% over asking price, not too shabby, more than a million dollars above ask. And then we have another home in San Jose, which also sold for $1 million over list price, or a premium of 52% over asking price, not too shabby. And if you think it only happens in the Bay Area, why check this out. This home right here is sold in Loomis, California, outside of dusty Sacramento. This one sold for more than a million dollars over asking price or 29.4% above list price. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Seb, that was then, that was 2022, man. That was 2021, that was 2020. That was like during COVID, man. Everything was really strange then. Of course, people were crazy. They were paying all kinds of insane amounts for houses. Well, that's true. These headlines did come from from 2022 and 2021, but the exact same phenomenon is actually happening right now. If not necessarily that $1 million thing, but the percentage over which homes can sell above asking price, it's going on right now. I've gone and pulled a few recent sales from this very month, from September of 2023, here in the South Bay area. Check out what's going on in the market right now. Here we have a house in San Jose. It sold for 33.5% over list price in just six days on market. And check out this lovely home in beautiful Saratoga. It sold for 41.4% over list price, closing escrow this month, September 2023. 20, and this one did sell for a million dollars over list price. Actually, it sold for $1.16 million over list price in just seven days on market. Or how about a nice starter home in San Jose, California? This one sold for 33.9% above list price in just seven days on market. That is $372,000 over list price. Again, closing just this month in September of 2023. Or how about this house, which is also in San Jose? Granted, a little bit of a nicer home. It sold for 41% over list price or $902,000 over asking in just seven days on the market. Again, closing September 2023. And how about this lovely, fully remodeled home in San Jose, which again closed just this month, September 23, 48.5% over list price or $458,112 over asking price, closing escrow this month after just five days on market. Now, when the realtor was sitting down with the seller and talking about what list price to set for the property, of course, the conversation comes up 
what is fair market value? Now, do you think that the realtor and the seller say, well, you know what, I think fair market value is $4 million, so let's price it at $3 million because that's the only way we're gonna get $4 million for this home. That is not what happens at all. What probably happens, I'm guessing, is that the realtor and the seller, they look at the comps, those darn comps, and they say, you know what, it's probably comps out around 3.5 million, but we can't really be sure. We don't wanna take any chances. So let's just price it somewhere where we know that we will get multiple offers on the property. So they do that. And so instead of listing it at 3.5 or 3.3, the seller just takes a deep breath and they put it up for sale way cheap at like $3 million. Okay. So at $3 million, what happens? 10 offers, 11 offers, 12 offers, who knows how many. And before you know it, they end up with a crazy, insane bidding war and it sells for $4 million or $500,000 more than what they had figured was fair market value. Now, I guarantee you that if they had actually listed it at $4 million, they wouldn't have gotten $4 million for the property. They probably wouldn't have even gotten $3.5 million for the property because it would have sat on the market, unsold, unloved, gathering dust, the sign on the yard getting rusty and everyone wondering what is wrong with that house. A very, very bitter, difficult way to sell a home is to overprice it. But if you want to get the very highest price possible, then you really need to price it really, really low where you will get lots of offers very quickly and you can trust the market to do its work and you need to be working with a realtor who really knows how to handle multiple offers and to negotiate those offers to your best possible advantage. And the proof is in the pudding. You can see it very clearly in all those headlines which I just shared with you and you can see it even today in these very recent closings where homes are selling very commonly at 30 and 40% over list price. And in one case, at least just in my quick search, $1 million over list price, actually $1.1 million over list price. It is happening today. It happened yesterday. It will happen in the future. It will happen anytime when you set a competitive list price and make sure that you are working with an agent who really knows how to market their property and to negotiate all those buyers to make sure that you, the seller, get not only the very best price, but the very best combination of price and terms where you really get to dictate every single term down to the last comma and period in the contract so that all of it is absolutely 100% in your favor. Now, would you like to have a home sale like that where you get 10 offers or more, where it sells in five days or seven days or three days, where you get 30 or 40% over list price where you get a million dollars over list or okay maybe not but how about three hundred thousand four hundred thousand dollars over list price do you want an experience like that i can tell you having been there many times that's a much better experience than having the price uh higher not getting offers and have to chase the market down and eventually deal with lowball money grubbing buyers who are trying to like chisel every last nickel out of you that is not a very fun experience at all so if you would like to talk about what we can do to make sure that you get the very highest price possible for your property, then call this number on the phone or you know what, hey, just send a text message. Uh, that's my cell phone number. I would love to speak with you about your situation, your timeline, how much you are hoping to get for the property and what we can do to make sure that you get the very best combination of price and terms when you go to sell your home. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, I'm guessing, just a guess, that you might also enjoy some of these videos over here. These are some of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel, so please do check those out. All right, thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and please stay tuned.